Russ just dropped a song. It's called Nasty. With Nasty, this specific song, he posted a video. Happened to find its way into this sub genre of TikTok, this little community called the Book Talk. The key of this whole thing and how Russ truly charted using TikTok and Book Talk to his advantage is simply. this video you're probably well aware of who Russ is if you don't know Russ is an independent artist who's made his whole career and I'm not talking like a little indie doing shows every once in a while indie career I'm talking one of the biggest artists in the world fully independent no label no nothing just him on his own with his tune core and with his fans he's arguably the biggest independent artist ever uh, definitely in the hip-hop genre for sure but look Russ didn't just pop overnight and he didn't just become who he is out of nowhere Russ actually has a really cool story and an inspiring one of consistently putting out music for such a long time before even getting a whiff from the industry or a whiff from any fans anybody who cared it's it's actually I encourage you to go watch one of his interviews talking about his come up because it's super inspiring before I get any deeper let me just explain I, I myself am an artist I'm an upcoming artist independent as well so Russ to me is uh, you know somewhat of an idol in a uh, you know non-religious sense but I look up to him and I he's kind of a role model and he's paved the way for independent artists and he's shown us that you can do it independently if you believe in your music and take the steps that he's taken and, and found ways to do it yourself type of shit where we don't even gotta speak look in your eyes and I know what you need body language how you talking to me He's done something recently that has allowed him to continue to progress in his superstardom past the level that he's in. And that is using TikTok and social media in general to further catapult his career by cross promotion. This is going to be kind of a techie, creative marketing uh, talk. I'll keep it as vague as possible for, for every artist out here who just wants to learn how to, you know, get a top five charting song with no rollout and no backing. Basically, Russ just dropped a song. It's called Nasty. And he dropped it, I think, about a month ago, the first version of the song. It's a very sexual, turn me on type of song where he talks about getting nasty with your partner. There's no other way to put it. Something that Russ does that's super cool, and, and this is like the primary strategy I wanna talk about here about music promotion and promotion in general, is that on the backings of his new single, Nasty, in the front end, before dropping it, before announcing a release, he posted a video with just the catchiest part of the song or the, the part of the song he thought would hit the best. And then he would just wait and see if it is catchy and if it does catch on and if it gets a lot of views and traction and comments and engagement. With Nasty, this specific song, the first one happened to find its way into this sub genre of TikTok, this little community called the Book Talk. If you don't know what book talk is, I'll save you the trouble of having to go through a very sexually charged TikTok feed. Unless you're into that, you should check it out. Basically, it's a bunch of people who talk about these erotic novels and make these inside jokes just like any other fan base would but it hit perfectly there's a part of the song where he basically calls uh, a girl a good girl for doing something that was sexy or whatever and look i've heard through the grapevine not me never me because i'm a saint and i never do any of this stuff that doing that gives a girl makes her feel a certain way whatever there's a there's there's a community for this right so he he said you know what i'm gonna post this little part it got into the book talk community and every big book talk influencer used the sound in one of their videos and then showed the words and it was a very funny organic traction and, and music promotion tool he does this with every single song that he puts out but this one actually hit and there's other ones that don't really get this level of of success and the next step is what made nasty a top five song which is that he didn't just say oh i got a viral clip let's put the song out as soon as possible no 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 he found ways to interact with the community that he stumbled upon okay now a lot of us when we're putting out music or we're doing whatever whatever let me let me use myself as an example the the tiktok that got the most traction for me was this song called on your own where i'm talking about an ex and it's a breakup song and it's like i hope you're single i hope you're happy you single on your own or whatever but it's very vindictive and it's very like like 
screw you kind of <laughs> song and it connected with that audience what i should have done which i didn't do is continue to interact with them and find ways to use the same little clip in different scenarios interact with the comments that i'm getting and whatever and, and do that which i didn't do okay russ literally said you know what we're going head in we're diving headfirst into book talk he did things like he bought the books that the people in the comments were recommending him to buy he said you know what i might explore these themes a little more and write different verses he ended up actually releasing an extended cut where he adds a third verse and in this verse he directly quotes or at least references parts of the most popular books in that genre and you know the erotic novel thing and i think that that's a lesson we can all take in as as artists as content creators it's allowing yourself to embrace whatever community you you happen to stumble upon and, and i know i know it could be scary i know it could be scary like oh what if this isn't really my image we might think that if we commit or start posting a lot about this specific thing that it'll it'll change how people view us or whatever but i think what russ did so beautifully is he was able to just be himself and kind of act as a guest into this community i think that's another part that's really important is he didn't really fully own it to the point despite the comments saying oh uh this is gonna be called Rust talk now and like stuff like that he didn't do that he said no i'm a guest in this game and i want you guys to put me on i want you guys to show me like what is it what is it and he collaborated another part of the whole thing that was really cool is he collaborated with erotic novel cartoonists he found this guy that created a, a design for stickers and bookmarks out of his verse and instead of like just shouting him out he connected with him and helped fund it so he could sell more and he did a joint venture with the guy things like this the, 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 there's so many little intricate things that he did that i thought was so smart but i think the key and the the beauty of this whole thing and, and the main takeaway is that he didn't just see a little shining light of hope with one clip that went crazy and said oh we gotta get this out as soon as possible because if we don't get it out people like the traction's gonna lose and we're not gonna be able to promote it and it's just not gonna get as many views no he he used that tension of people wanting to hear the full cut to his advantage and lengthened out the rollout for the song he was posting like three tiktoks a day interacting with book talk with this specific genre and now post nasty being out post it charting the extended version so the second version of the song charting after all of that, now he has this huge new following that are like, you know, diehard fans because it's such a niche community that I'm sure the mainstream isn't aware of that now they feel like they have a, 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 a you know, a voice, not only a voice, but a reference point and something in mainstream that could add validity to their community it normalized it you know like it's okay to be into this stuff not only is it okay it's actually kind of cool and i'm gonna i'm gonna make it cool and uh he, he it was just a beautiful way to not just promote his music but to uplift a whole community of people that is the key the key of this whole thing and how russ truly charted using tiktok and book talk to his advantage is simply embracing an image that he might have been a little scared to embrace he said you know what i don't care i'm gonna go full in one because he knew that it was gonna blow up to another level you know what i'm saying but two probably because he genuinely liked what he was talking about and he related to it you know he wouldn't have written the song if he didn't have some sort of personal tie to it you know so it's a win-win so for any of you artists or anybody promoting anything using social media i think engagement is something that we don't really talk about a lot you know engaging with the audience and listening to the audience and creating things for them is something we never talk about as creatives and content creators and i think russ just gave us a clinic on how to not only successfully market a song in in a two-week runway to make it chart but how to ride the wave fully and uh, capitalize on a small glimmer of fame or something and you know for us indie artists who are still on the come up we might experience that and that's what i'm saying we might experience that early right now I'm, 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 I hover around six to 10,000 monthly listeners. And, you know, I'm still super early. I've been doing it for a year. So the way I think of this is, okay, if tomorrow I post a TikTok and it gets mega buzz, instead of me panicking and saying, what am I going to do next? I think engaging with the commenters, continuing to promote it before it's released is key. 
Now, I will say one thing, and this is the one part that I think we should all listen to because it's something that annoys me from TikTok artists that I've found, um, I found that I've just discovered through my TikTok page. A lot of these TikTok artists do that to a way extreme. What made Russ's so good and, 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 and so gratifying is that early in that part where it got discovered and it started getting picked up by that community, he, he set a release date and he set a release date like two weeks in advance. So he had 14 days to create three TikTok talks a day and engage and having some sort of expectation from when the fans will be able to listen to it instead of just posting and writing this way for months and never releasing the song because that is annoying and i've seen tiktoks of people I, if i find it I'll, I'll add it in here but i've seen tiktoks of people being like bro just drop the song like i would listen to this thing and i want to hear the full song why isn't it dropped i think russ found that balance russ found that balance it is set the expectation beforehand to allow that delayed gratification to feel good and to build excitement real hype because if you don't have a goal, if you don't have a, like an end something for someone to look forward to, you're just teasing them, you know? You know, it's kind of, you know, in the vein of the nasty song, <laughs> you know, if you, we compare it to the bedroom, if there's no finish line, then the other stuff might be a little annoying, you know what I'm saying? Like we need to know we're going to get to this end goal to really enjoy the beginning. That would be a little too sexual for YouTube. Let's all take that into account. And remember, if there's anything for you to remember in this, don't be afraid to engage with the community. You know, if you ride a wave, it doesn't change your identity as an artist. That's a fear. He, Russ might have thought, whoa, am I going to want to make music this forever? No, he's, he's, he's not new to the game. You know what I'm saying? He knew that it didn't define him. And a popular song like this doesn't create this weird tension in you to have to continue to do it again. That might be a fear that you might have, but no. And then you continue to have these fans that'll, you know, enjoy your other music and bring you on. And then you continue invading other little communities i think that's really a key and something i want to explore a lot in my music engage and embrace whatever love you're getting from whatever community and use that to your advantage while setting a clear expectation on when they can receive the song but uh yeah russ is a genius he has been forever but the way he's adapted to tiktok and social media now has been insane and i just thought it'd be a really cool idea to share it with you guys for any creatives i feel like this is applicable with anything and the idea of getting that spark and panicking and not fully taking advantage of it the way russ did and i encourage you go to russ's tiktok scroll down and look at everything he did i'm gonna try my best to portray that all of this being said i like to do this thing i haven't done in a while when we do videos like this we tend to compare and we tend to be like ah oh, i wish i was where he was at something i like to say at the end of every video is stay grateful because you know you just got a new piece of information that can get you to the next level. If you liked it, share it with a friend, uh, subscribe, because I'm be making videos like this a lot about things that call my attention and trends and whatever, whatever. But yeah, my name is Andres Tagliaferro. You can just call me Tag. I hope you learned something from this video. And yeah, remember, stay grateful. Peace. Uh, tell me where you want to go. I can take you in a minute. I promise I'm never going to leave you alone. I know you told me he hurt you when you don't wanna trust nobody no more Good thing I'm not a nobody no more Give me your company, that shit is gone Let's stand in silence and work on our goals Yeah Type of shit where we don't need